Yeah, there's no doubt that uh, a lot of people in the neighborhood will be showing up for this <laughs> one. And, you know, the stadium would pe be packed and the uh, student body's going crazy. And, you know, it, it's, uh, it's going to be an electric atmosphere. But at the same token, it's a game outside your pod. Mm -hmm. um, everybody wants to win. We get that. But, uh, you know, just like the Capitol game a couple of weeks ago, yeah, it's a big game, but we're still hoping there's bigger games down mm -hmm. the road. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's what we're hoping for and shooting for. So we're, we're not going to get, you know, our minds too crazy about what this is or isn't. I mean, yeah, it's a neighborhood, and the, the coaching staffs all know each other, and half of them used to be here, and we get all that. But it's still – it's about the kids in 2014 and this squad and – We'll just go play this game and see what happens. Yeah, it's still about football because when they kick it off, they're not going to remember pod A, pod B. They're going to remember, hey, that's Rocky over there or Eagle over here, and we got to go get this thing. No doubt. <laughs> uh, and that's why there will be so much electricity in the, in the stadium and, and everyone will be going crazy, and uh, it will be extremely intense. Um, and, and that's what we play for. I mean, you in our profession – you know, you put in a lot of hard work and a lot of lonely long hours mm -hmm. for those moments where it is electric. You don't want to play games that are boring. This will be far from that. What do you know about this team now? I mean, you, you, you're you 3-0, and and you won a game that you're down 23 nothing late in the first half, and you came back from that one and pulled that one out. Uh, what, do you, what have you found out about this group? I think that there's a, a genuine uh, belief internally, an, an awful lot of confidence. But I think it's framed correctly. Um, I like to believe that these guys have their heads uh, screwed on correctly. You know, obviously we have some guys that uh, sometimes think that they're, you know, pretty big for their britches. But the, the reality is that I, I, I like our genetic makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, I like how we're interacting on the field. Um, the whole concept of selflessness is uh, being discussed a lot. And... You know, I think the Capital game showed an awful lot regarding resiliency, and if we're, if we stay together, you know, football, especially high school football, there's adversity, there's bad plays, bad yeah. things are going to happen. That's yeah. just the way it is, and you got to learn how to work through all that. And I think these guys know they have to lean on one another to get through it. We talked two weeks ago. You said I don't get involved on Friday night that much. Okay. I watched you a couple of weeks ago against Capital. It was twenty-three <laughs> nothing, and uh, Coach Paul Peterson was involved, folks. <laughs> well, when you're the head coach, you're obviously uh, responsible for everything. Yeah, you know, and I, I attempt to delegate and delegate, um, but there there came a situation late in that fourth quarter where I could see that uh, we were going to end up a little paralysis through analysis, and, and somebody had to kind of just grab the bowl, if you will, and. You know, that, that's my job. I, I'm i old. I've been doing this a long time, and I try to read situations. And if things go bad, I want to be the guy who takes the bullets. So that, that's kind of where I step in. 